Do you want to be completely anonymous on Kali Linux? Want to disappear and never get caught? Don't worry. In this video, I got you covered. Stay with me, and I will show you how you can use the Who Am I tool in Kali Linux to remain completely anonymous on the web. Sequence activated. The Who Am I tool we're spotlighting today offers an amazing cloak of invisibility and anonymity. Now, let's shift gears into setting up Who Am I on your system. First things first, make sure you do a sudo apt update before anything. We need to make sure your Kali Linux is always fresh. Once you are done, now do sudo apt upgrade y to install the latest libraries for your system. If you see this screen, don't worry. Just hit the tab button and then hit enter. Also, please note that your computer may need rebooting. Perfect. Now let's install all the requirements. You can copy this straight from GitHub. Go to the GitHub repository and copy the following line. Great. Now, paste that into your terminal and hit enter. Easy peasy. You are getting there. Let me do an ls so you can see the contents downloaded from GitHub. See the folder Kali Who Am I? Let's get inside it. Type in cd Kali Who Am I? Here you will see four files and one directory. All we have to worry about is the make file file. Now what I want you to do is type in sudo make install to build this binary right from the source. This should be very easy. Once you have done that, simply type in sudo kali who am I dash dash help. Now you'll see the main parameters for who am I, like start, status, stop, and fix, in case things don't go as expected. Next, I want you to type sudo kali who am I dash dash status. Here, you will see that none of the features are enabled. Don't worry, we'll now get to that. Now, type in sudo kali who am I dash dash start. You will see nine different options. Let's look at them more in detail. Look at this. If I do an ls, I'm able to see the readme markdown file. Now, just like for any GitHub repo, I can power up my Visual Studio code to look at the readme. If you don't have Visual Studio code, I really recommend you to download it and use it. Visual Studio Code is really a powerhouse. To see the README file, all I have to do is type in code README and ampersand. Boom, there it is. Now this looks like gibberish, but check this out. If you hit the preview button on the right hand side, everything comes to life. Now, let me close this other window. There you go. And before I do that, if you enjoy this content, hit like and smash the subscribe button. Your support means the world to me. Now let me scroll down so we can look at each of the features of the Who Am I tool one by one. Anti-man in the middle means the tool will prevent hackers from doing ARP spoofing on your system. This, of course, happens when your network is compromised. Log killer will overwrite any logs that are getting produced on your system when the time is running. This really helps cover your tracks in case your computer is analyzed. IP changer is a huge one. This feature will anonymize your IP address by making the traffic go through the Tor network. DNS change replaces any DNS server provided by your internet service provider. Mac changer will replace your network interfaces. I'll show you this in a bit. Just stay with me. Anti-cold boot is another method of covering your tracks if your computer's memory is dumped for analysis. Time zone changer changes the system time zone to hide your system clock. How cool is that? Hostname changer changes the system hostname from Kali to anything else like Windows 10 or Mac Pro to hide your host name. And lastly, browser anonymization. This one is another big hitter. This setting completely configures your browser, so you remain stealthy when powering up your favorite browser. Now that you know what the tool does, let's get into the nitty gritty. Back on your terminal, type one and hit enter, then type two and enter, then three and enter. You get the point. Once you've done all nine of them, hit enter one more time to activate the tool. There you go. Now we are in business. Please note that the DNS changer and IP changer cannot work at the same time because the IP changer needs its own DNS to work. Basically, it's one or the other. So don't worry about that warning. Also, if you see a network is down warning, don't worry either. All you have to do is reboot your system. The tool will stay on after you reboot. So let me do just that. By the way, I use Proxmox for virtualizing machines. I highly recommend it. Now let me power it again. There. Now let me go into my remote desktop client 
and log into my Kali system. Boom. We are back in business. Now, do sudo Kali who am I dash dash status. Everything is enabled except for the DNS changer, which is what we expect. Now, let's check out the most important features. By default, my host name was changed. Check. Now power up your browser and go to DuckDuckGo. Once in there, search for my IP. You'll see that your IP address is not available. Now, if you see your IP address, it may be because your browser was running from a previous session. In that case, just close your browser, wait for two seconds, and open it again. Now, if I click on the first link, I will go to whatsmyip.com. Let's do that. Cloudflare verification. There. Check out my IP now. This is not my real IP. You see how it says host Europe and Tor exit node? It also says Punjab, Pakistan. Nice. That, my friends, means that I'm anonymous. The browser cannot read my IP address, and the one shown on what's my IP is not my real IP address either. Let's do a few more checks. Let's do Kali who am I dash dash status again. Perfect. Now, let's check the MAC address. For that, all you have to do is type in IP A on your terminal. Hit enter. There. See the string right beside link ether on eth0. This is your interface MAC address. Copy this address. Now let's go back to your browser and check this MAC address against any manufacturers. Type in MAC address checker on the browser. Now hit DNS checker. Now paste the MAC address and hit search. Boom. The manufacturer is not recognized. That's awesome. Now go back to the terminal and let's do the last checks. Type Kali who am I dash dash status again. Now let's check the date. Type in date and hit enter on your terminal. There. See how my time is now in UTC? This is a random time that does not correlate with my actual time. How cool is that? Now one last time. Type in Kali who am I dash dash status again. Let's check some logs. Type in sudo tail slash var slash log slash syslog to see the system logs. That's right. Nothing. Now type in sudo tail slash var slash log slash syslog to see the authorization logs. These log files record information related to authentication and authorization processes on your Kali system. This means who logs in, how, and when. Nothing again. Finally, we need to turn off the Who Am I tool. For that, simply type in Kali Who Am I, stop, and hit enter. There. Now, you may need to reboot your system again for all the changes to complete. Your Kali system should be back to normal. This tool is truly remarkable. If you like this content, make sure to like it and subscribe. See you soon. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts too.